The International Organization for Standardization, known as ISO, ISO, breaks LCA into four phases, goal and scope, inventory analysis, impact assessment, and interpretation. Within these four phases, there are seven critical elements that must be done correctly to assure fair and accurate comparisons. Within the goal and scope phase, the goal is defined, the functional unit is formulated, the system boundary is set, and an allocation method is selected. Within the inventory analysis phase, several types of life cycle inventory, LCI, data is collected. Selecting an impact assessment method is the next critical concept to understand, followed by critical review in the interpretation phase. Due to the iterative nature of LCA, these key details can easily be glossed over, hidden, or simply mistakenly forgotten. Read the on-screen text to learn more about the LCA modeling process. Study the on-screen diagram. Then click Next to learn more about each key concept. You can also jump to any concept you want to study by using the drop-down menu above. A common mistake in comparative LCAs is choosing the wrong functional unit. The functional unit is not simply a gram, a gallon, or a piece of something. Read the on-screen text, try the on-screen exercise, and then click the magnifying glass to review another example with our hypothetical window study. In our hypothetical window example, let's first ask what service the windows provide. They transmit light, circulate air, provide an outdoor view, protect the building's drainage plane, and are visually attractive. With these services now identified, a functional unit can be defined and might be one square meter of double hung window including frame with a maximum U value of 0.25 and an SHGC of 27% and a minimum VT of 65% lasting 30 years in Florida. This functional unit assures that the two windows can be fairly compared. Regardless of how the windows are built, both will provide the same service that can be quantitatively measured.